since I posted a video. I have been really busy at work and I just haven't had the mental capacity to film and edit so it's been a while but today I just was kind of in the mood. Everything's kind of calming down a little bit and I really wanted to do kind of a coppery rose gold with blue and that's that's what I did but I don't know, it didn't come out exactly like I pictured, but I really, really like it. I'm really proud of it. So I hope you guys enjoy it, and I will see you next time. Bye! Okay, so since we're working with pretty dark eyeshadows, we're going to start with the eyes today. And I'm priming my eyelids with MAC Painterly Paint Pot. My eyes looked so especially dark today. It's just ridiculous, I guess. Well, I hadn't had a whole lot of sleep this entire weekend, but... They looked so dark. I felt like I could not get enough of this base on there to cover it. But anyways, moving on. So I'm going to start out with MAC Bamboo in my crease for my transition shade. I'm just using a fluffy brush and working that into the crease. This is my OG blending crease transition color. And it's perfect because it's just a little bit darker than my skin tone. And if you're super pale, this works really nicely. Now I'm going to be taking this Nautica eyeshadow. This is from Makeup Geek. Makeup Geek. I can't talk. And I'm taking this on a smaller blending brush and just blending that into the crease. Blue eyeshadows can be really hard to blend out, so take your time with this and slowly build. This eyeshadow looks shimmery in the pan, but it really isn't once you get it on your eye. I've said that before because I've used it quite a bit. It's just a nice staple navy blue eyeshadow. I use this a lot during football season. <laughs> and then I'm just going to go back and buff that out with a fluffy brush and just blend, 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 blend. I wanted this look to have a little more warmth, which I never do, but I don't know. I was just feeling it today. So I took Makeup Geek Bitten. I am not a big warm color fan on my eyes at all. I think it's because my, my skin tone is so pink that warm colors sometimes just don't just don't work well for me. But anyway, I wanted a little extra warmth. So if you'll notice, I'm not putting this directly over the crease like I did with the blue. I'm putting it a little bit lower. And I use the crap out of this eyeshadow in the fall just because it's so warm. But... I hardly ever use it other than that. Now I'm going to be taking this L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush. And it doesn't even come across on camera like I want it to. It looks way more champagne-esque, but it's a lot more copper and rosy on the eye. And I'm just using that with my finger. And then I'm going back in with that Nautica eyeshadow and the E35, I think it is, the smaller blending brush, and just blend, blend, blend. And then I didn't have enough color, I felt, so I took this very dense, short, almost like a pencil brush, but not quite. Um, this is a brush from e.l.f., and I just took that same blue eyeshadow just to kind of deepen up that color. It just wasn't as bold as I wanted it to be. And I'm going to be going in with Makeup Geek Corrupt on an actual pencil brush. And I'm just putting this kind of in the outer V, just kind of carving out the outer edge of the eye. And you don't really have to do this step. I just wanted it to be super intense and smoky. So I added that and then I blended it out a little bit because you just have to blend. It's just, yeah. So now I'm going to take some eye cream on a Q-tip and kind of just clean up the area underneath my eyes. And this also will hydrate for when you put concealer there. And this is just a Nourish Organic one. This is pretty much the only time I use this because it's very thin. And I had already moisturized with my Origins Ginseng. So now I'm taking my L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow and I sped the crap out of this. I've already said the crap out of this twice in this video. Anyways, I sped it up really quickly because it's so boring to me. 
but I mean it's just foundation same old same old so now I'm taking the NYX HD concealer and then this Maybelline Dream Lumi concealer and I never thought to layer these but I heard Kathleen Lights talk about how she layered them because the uh, NYX HD concealer is a little bit thick and I have always thought the same thing I have never loved it like everyone you know everyone just raves about it so I wanted to try it and I finally found it in my Ulta my Ulta is always so picked over you guys but anyways so I layered the two and I like how it turned out I don't think I would use the HD by itself anymore after doing it like this but I mean I really liked it and um I don't know I wasn't looking for anything super brightening because the focus was really on the eyes so now I'm going to take this City Color HD powder and I'm taking that on a damp beauty blender and just kind of setting my under eye with that. And like I said, we're not going super bright, so this is pretty much all I'm using. And you can see it looks kind of cakey. So now I take my brush and just kind of wipe off the excess. I love this powder because it has such a feather-like consistency and it literally feels like there is nothing there. It's so light. I've hit pan on my Urban Decay. This is the Urban Decay Powder Foundation. I think it's Naked Skin Powder Foundation. I don't even remember. But anyways, I love it. And I cannot believe I've already gotten so low on it. This gives my face such a flawless finish. And I'm obsessed. Okay, so I had a better clip of this where I wasn't moving so much, but I accidentally deleted it. So here it is. This is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop, which is the collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. And I like it. I don't love it as much as I thought I would. Um, when you swatch it, to me it looks a lot better when you swatch it than when you actually see it in person. Like, I don't know, maybe it's just me, like the, the lighting and everything when I see it on my face, but I just feel like it's not as intense as it is on other people. And I don't really understand it. Maybe I'm, I don't know, maybe it's the way I'm applying it. And then I'm going to contour just barely. I'm not doing a whole lot of like extra face makeup because again, you don't want to do super, super like dramatic face makeup when you have that super dramatic eye, but I'm just using the e.l.f. contour palette and that blending brush that goes hand in hand. And then this is a Maybelline blush. It's just a mauve blush. I don't remember what it's called, and I you can't even tell that I'm wearing it, so I'm not going to tell you what it is, but anyways. And then this is Pixie Sunny Bronzer in or beauty bronzer in summertime and I just kind of usually take this all over my face but mainly focusing it on my cheeks and my forehead and I'm gonna take NYX whipped cream eyeshadow and put that on my brow bone and I don't know when I have a super dramatic eye like this I feel like you just you have to put white up there and I just use a matte color like I don't I don't like shimmer up there on the to highlight the brow bone but I just feel like it just lightens up the look a lot and then you're going to blend it out because that's what we do. And then I'm going to take my eyeliner. This is a blue liquid eyeliner that I am addicted to. And I, I've had it a really long time and I can't find another one that's the same. But maybe I'll be able to eventually and I'll let you guys know. And then I'm taking this Urban Decay Pencil Eyeliner, and I think it's like indigo. It's just kind of a dark navy blue eyeliner. And then I'm going to spray my face with L'Oreal Infallible Makeup Setting Spray. And then I'm moving on to lips. I'm using the Bite Beauty Lip Duo in, I think this color was Fig. And then I'm topping that with my Buxom lip, lip Gloss in White Russian. The pink lip was a little too pink. I wanted to nude it out a little bit because, again, the eyes were so in your face. But, yeah. So I topped it with that. And then we're going to go in with this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. Lashes. La lashes. Oh, my gosh. I can't talk. <laughs> and... Um, I love this mascara. I've raved and raved and raved about it. I really need to just buy a full size, but I just, I haven't problem. I'm trying to really calm down on my, my makeup buying, you guys. Like, 
I'm trying to be an adult and not buy so much makeup. It's really hard. And that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye! Okay. You look fine, Mommy. How about these earrings? How are they? Fun. Uh Guys, I will be so glad when summer is over. Everyone loves summer, but for me, I hate summer. A, because it's our busiest time of the year at work. B, because it is so godforsaken hot. And I know there's another reason. There has to be another reason.